All right, so I've got this little uh, BCM module here that I need to uh, clone. Um, I've already taken this one apart, as you can see. Is chip I need is is here on the lower level, and um, it's pretty easy to read. It has a BDM port here. The only problem is you have to desolder. It's not not a big problem, but it's a little bit of annoying because you have to desolder some headers here and some large pins here, and then you can take you know the top section off and access to BDM pads. I'm not sure why they didn't put them on the back, but uh, I guess they didn't expect anybody to do this kind of work with it. But besides that, you also have to remove all the fuses and take the layers, you know, the fuse layers apart. Um, so now, this one I've already read. I've already taken it apart. This is the original BCM that I'm working on, and this is a replacement that I'm going to be installing. And I, I want to avoid taking this one apart, uh, mainly because I don't feel like pulling the fuses, and I don't feel like you know, desoldering the headers. Um, so what I want to do is I want to relocate my pinout to the back of this module. And it should be fairly easy because I see vias for each of the points. So we have, uh, on the BDM port, we have power, which, uh, you know, it's going to be 5 volt. We have a reset pin. We have a ground pin, and we have the background debugging pin. And uh, like I said, I see vias for, for all of them, so it should be pretty easy just to move everything back here. All right, so let, let's do that. Let's first find them. And I'm going to put this solder here. Okay, so this first one is going to be uh, BCC. If you guys want to hook this like this. So this first one I'm going to look for is BCC. And um, also, I'm going to take a picture because later I'm going to make a uh, diagram for this. And I've done this before. But I can't seem to find it, so, so I have to do again here. Now this back is covered in conformal coating, so I'm just going to scratch away from this area. It's not coming off, so I'm going to add a little bit of conformal coating remover. And that did the trick. Okay, so just this area should be good enough here. All right, so I got my meter on for you. Now we're going to find the VCC pin. And so the BDM pad is right around in here. So we hit something. I don't think that's it yet. Okay. So here we have found it. It's this kind of chunky, chunky one that's coming up. So anywhere on this line will work. So if we scratch this. And I'm going to put a little solder there so we know where it's at. That is our VCC. Right? 
Actually, I, I don't need to read this one. I need to read the other one, but that that is okay. We'll still mark them on this one and then go to the other one. And right, we'll test it on this one first. All right, so that is our VCC. Now let's do our reset. And we can see our reset via right here. Because it comes down, so it's going to be one, two, three up. And then if we come look here. Okay, it was uh, three up, so maybe this one, yep. That is our reset. So we can scratch that one as well. And put a little flux and a little solder there. Okay, now we're going to switch this to uh, background debugging. And if we look here, we can see the via right there. So it's going to be it's going to be right in here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere in here. Not that one. No. Oh, I haven't hooked this up yet. There it is. All right, so now all we have to do is find the ground. And ground should be pretty easy to find. All right. Move my little wire here. Okay, so I did see a via coming off that one as well. Okay, so I found one. All right, so both of these are ground. It's probably gonna be a lot of ground. Yeah, this whole pad here is ground. So you can just scrape a little bit away here or here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this big one. Okay, so that's gonna be our ground. All right, so now let's try to read it and make sure everything is good. Now, I have already w read it once through the BDM. And I'm just going to see if it verifies correctly. Let me just turn on the uh, device I'll be using. Okay, get the X-Brogue. 
and we need four wires. Let's do uh, the ground first. Color don't really matter, whatever your preference is. Uh, let's do a uh, background debugging. That was this one. And right now I'm just trying to remember where I put everything. It's, you know, it's just four, four wires, so not too bad. This one don't want to stick. There we go. Wire going bad. Okay, let's do a reset. And reset, I believe, was this one. Have to be careful with the smaller vias. Uh, if you wiggle the wire too much, they will it will break. Okay, and then this is going to be the VCC. That's not on there very good. See this one being difficult. Alright, so let's try to verify and we are having verify errors. I might have the wrong one selected. Let's try again. There we go. So now we are verifying the flash and uh, so far it looks fine. All right, so a verification was successful. There was no issues at all. I'm gonna go ahead and verify the, uh, the EEPROM as well. So this one will be the EEPROM go back to device and I'm going to select EEPROM and I'm going to verify. All right. So these positions did work just fine, which is great because now we don't need to take the other one apart. I'm going to go ahead and remove this stuff here. Okay, I'm going to clean up my solder. Because this is the original, and um, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. The customer, you know, wanted me to clone a replacement, so I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to give the original back. So I'm going to clean it up here. All right, and I'm going to uh, put the conformal coating back on there. Uh, these are in the interior of the car, so probably not a big deal. But we took it off, so we're going to put it back. All right. So now this one, I'm done with that. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll put it back together. But now that we have our points, we can come here to our donor. And uh, much easier get this one cloned, right? So let's see, let's verify all of my points. Right, so I know our ground, I know that our power was this big fat one. Okay. And this one, I'm not gonna scratch away all the conformal coding, and we'll leave, I'm gonna leave some of it. Just scratch away where I need to make my connection. I'm going to do the same thing for the ground. OK. 
Okay. We need one more, and that was this one. Whoop. Right. Okay. Let me see if I can cut that light off a little bit. Can't see nothing. So I'm going to get some flux there. I am going to tin everything. Just makes it easier. All right. I'm going to come back with my X probe. Okay, we're going to do ground first because that one's pretty sturdy. Let's do power next. Let's come around this way. The last time my power was barely hanging on. Okay, I'm going to do the BKG. Next. Okay, so when they start acting like this, the wires, let's just snip it. I don't have a, a good end on this one. And it, uh, it's a cheap wire, so it keeps oxidizing pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do the reset last because this one's kind of pretty, pretty delicate there, that little point to connect to. All right, so I've got the connections made. Now we are going to uh, write the EEPROM. Let me make sure the EEPROM is still selected here. So it's uh, MCU, it's uh, 9S12XD256. EEPROM and I'm just going to go ahead and write this and this is the EEPROM data from the original so I'm writing this to my donor all right so that is done now the uh, flash it's, it's the same part number so it should be the same uh, unless there was an update or something like that, but uh, I think I'm just gonna do a verify and see if it's the same because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. All right, so it did verify, so the flash is already the same. Um, that's it. The job is done. All I have to do is Remove my wires here. Okay, clean it up. I find let me get that solder up first. Okay, just getting the lumpy solder up. Okay. And we are also going to apply some conformal coating to this one, if I can find what I've done with it. Yep, yeah, there we go.